A very good afternoon there. Uh, so I'm here with another video and uh, uh, today I'm going to talk about this um, replace function, how it works. So I got an email from uh, one of my subscribers and he says that is there any way that uh, he has this uh, sheet. Of course, I've written these dummy numbers because uh, this uh, question is not as, you know, not that tough actually. So we can answer it in just, uh, you know, one minute and we I can wrap up the video. So I've just written some entries over here. So what he wants to do is he has some data in his this uh, spreadsheet and uh, some text are in the uppercase and some text are in the lowercase. So what he want to do is he want to replace this A with some maybe you can say you know maybe he wants to replace it with the uh, let's say aj right but at the same time if some something is written in a then what he wants to do is he doesn't want to get it changed so a has to remain as a only however if the case is if it is in the upper case you know caps on then it should be replaced with the aj right so he was trying it i think for by using the replace option but then what is happening is when you uh, do this uh, control h suppose i'll select this and i'll do this you know control h is the shortcut key which i pressed uh, and you'll get a get this pop-up find and replace so click on the re replace and say that uh, i want to replace a and replace a with the aj and then when you press replace all so this is what the problem he's getting you know even this a which is in the lower case you can check here now it, it is also replaced but this is something which he does not want he wants to avoid replacing the a which is in the low case so that's quite simple you have done the 50 percent of the work my friend and what what exactly you are doing wrong here is just some uh, very simple thing you need to notice um, select this uh, you know range first where you want to operate this uh, replace function and go to the home tab either you press Control h or you can uh, let me write here control plus H that is the shortcut key right so I always try to uh, educate uh, you guys you know on the shortcut keys as well while uploading my videos because shortcut keys are something which I would strongly urge you to use it in case if you want to make your career in Excel right or when I say Excel it means it could be anything you could be a business analyst you could be a MIS analytical person or you could be you know anything right you could be nature MIS anything so uh, select this first range and go use this op option this uh, called uh, find and select and you'll see the option here can uh, replace right so otherwise control h is a shortcut key otherwise uh, you can use this option as well so now i'm sorry just got magnified okay now what you need to do is uh, when you say when you're specific that you don't have to replace this uh, a which is in lower case on the third row then uh, this replace is not going to work because Excel by default it will take all the A's whether it is in the uppercase or the lowercase so you need to use this option okay use this option and now right here say that match case now the match case what it would do is it would it would go ahead and it it will try to find all the you know alphabets A with this kind of a match with this kind of a match means that in the form of the uppercase right so now when you select this option now press replace all did you see that now a has changed to aj but a the a which is in the smaller case it is not changed right so this is how you can actually use this option right so that's it for now and uh, that's my email id write me some more questions in case if you if you have some issues and uh, we can definitely talk on that right guys and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also I would request you that whenever you watch my videos please watch them on the YouTube video because only then you know I will be able to uh, give a good marketing to my YouTube channel right so let me know in case if you if you're looking for some Excel training advanced Excel training or maybe the VBA or maybe MS access database training database training you know and uh, we can certainly speak on that so thank you so much and uh, have a very very good day bye bye